Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please Slay the Spire. Last episode, probably like the best episode we've ever done in our entire lives. It was wonderful. Let's see if we can do the same thing here. Let's just take a random... A free relic is nice, even if it is common. A free rare card, albeit random, could be good. And transforming an attack and defend, or even like two defends, could also be good. I don't like losing the starting relic. I think the starting relics are like better than the boss relics. To most of the time. To me that seems like hard mode, but... I might be wrong, because the boss relics are like, usually they give you extra energy. But anyway, give me a common relic. Regular enemy combats are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. Austin told me that this is like what you get if you want to speedrun. I'm not saying we're speedrunning, because like, I'm, I'm just not that kind of guy. It's not like I got anything against it. More power to you if you got the the skill set to make that work. It's just not my personal idea of like... Uh, I mean, let's, uh, wait to talk about speedrunning until my win rate gets like over 10% <laughs> somewhere in that vicinity. Oh man, I really wanted like three strikes and a neutralize, but I'll tell you what, we'll do this. Again as the silent, I like to start a little slow. Dip it low, pick it up slow. I forget the rest of the lyrics, um, but it's very Christina Milian-like, if you know what I mean. I do think all-out attack is almost essential. Against one enemy, we can keep them debuffed enough. I think we will take the early, uh... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll take the early idle, because it's likely to pay dividends by the time we, uh... We get a little further. Transform a card. All-out attack I like, even though we get reduced card draw. Having some AoE is important. We can kind of... We can slow down one enemy, but... I don't know if we want to... Out maneuver? I'm fine with it. Um, I don't know if we want to uh, necessarily try our luck against a bunch of enemies. You know what? Give me a... Uh, it's 10 extra... 10 gold per potion is awesome. And we got good ones as well. So, or decent ones at least. I think I overrate the regen potion. It's just like healing is... Uh, it always seems so important. Here, I can't kill you. So what I'm going to do is throw one of these bad boys at you. Kill you. Play a survivor. Dump this. Play an outmaneuver. Probably we're not going to get you next turn. We need, uh, like, three strikes and a neutralize. Or an all-out attack, a strike, and a neutralize. I mean, wow, okay. Four strikes will also work. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I think we can go with Dagger Throw. If this card is discarded from your hand, draw a card. We don't have anything that enables that yet, so I'm very wary about taking something like that early. But uh, it's not necessarily bad, obviously. Outmaneuver, giving you more energy, dealing more damage to all enemies, applying weakness for longer, or Dagger Throw. Uh, dagger Throw just gets stronger though, right? Like, yeah, it's still pretty... The upgrade is not as good. So it's either gain two energy, which honestly is not going to be that relevant much of the time. Or deal four damage extra to each enemy, which obviously gets better and better the more enemies there are. Or apply two weakness. I kind of like... Uh, I like Neutralize because it's already free. And the second tick of it, I think, is, like, worth way more than uh, the first tick. Like, every subsequent t subsequent tick of Neutralize is super nice. So, in my opinion, at least. So, you might be wondering, NL, why don't you play uh, Out Maneuver? Well, we're kind of, like, in a race. And the other thing is, we only draw five cards. So, for now, I'm not saying uh, Out Maneuver is, like, a bad... Oh, right, we've got to be careful about playing these because he gets stronger. Every time, man. Um, I'm not saying outmaneuver is uh, bad. I'm just saying it's it's kind of slow. I mean, you get energy, but I don't know. If you got a hand with gas, I think you just play that. I'm going to choose to take two damage. Remember, we're in like a race with this guy for the most part. Um, I don't want to use any potions if we don't have to. We definitely want neutralize, and we did get it, thankfully. Um, he's hitting for 11. I think I'm going to let him hit. We're definitely going to strike, strike, and then I look at this and I go, okay. If I strike you, I need to draw strike dagger throw. If I all-out attack, well, you know what? We're going to draw strike dagger throw. It's guaranteed. Also a great name for, like, your baby if you plan on giving birth to an action hero. There's dagger throw. And we'll dump. It, it doesn't matter what we dump. Anyway, that, that didn't go badly at all. 
Singing Bowl, whenever you skip a card, increase your max HP by 2. Uh, and I, we're immediately going to put that to the test. The game's giving me... I mean, we kind of want to fight the Elite, don't we? The game's giving me, like, the opportunity to go for a discard deck, except we don't have any cards that enable it except for Dagger Throw. So, um, certainly, this is, like, the ideal situation for that. You're dead. You're also dead. That was a great fight. You know what? Give me two dex potions. I'm fine with it. I actually think that Noxious Fumes, the more I play, the more I value Noxious Fumes as a card. Oh, dude, Gremlin Horn. The only thing that's bad about Gremlin Horn is that sometimes I'm stupid, and I forget that Gremlin Horn is actually, like, on. Let me just make sure, by the way. I've been restarting my computer la a lot lately. Are you using the right microphone, OBS? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Northern Land. It's using the right microphone. It's using the right microphone. Anyway, Gremlin Horn is 10 out of 10. We rested there. We're in a good spot. We're fighting a single enemy. We could probably afford to pop a Dex Potion here, but we don't necessarily have to do it yet. I think it, we're going to hit him this turn because we got gas. <laughs> and again, all-out attack, it might seem like, uh, you know, why'd you take all-out attack if you never want to play it? Well, it's not really like that. It, I, I love playing it against multiple enemies. Against a single enemy, it's a little... Uh, scary is not really the right word, but... Could be better, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Outmaneuver is fine, but again, it doesn't... I, I'm taking these cards that are good, but I'm not really finding great opportunities to play them. Because we have Noxious Fumes, I'm not saying we should go slowly against this guy, but... Um, we, can, we can afford to play a little War of Attrition. Ah, that's what we're looking for. Neutralize will take him down to 13. Um, we'll block 8 of that, which is not that much, but he's getting poison stacked up, so whatever damage we take is going to be compensated for probably by the uh, the relic that we get. Maybe not literally, but in a, in a broad sense. So we have him, like, not even close to where I'd like him to be uh, in terms of, like, his, uh, his level of HP at this point, but that's kind of what the poison is for long term. Uh, so we'll hit you with that. We got a tons of stuff here, so throw this up. Honestly, I think we hit you for nine because we can't really afford to slow down. I think we might get down into like the 20s as far as HP goes. I'd like to be wrong, but... Yeah. He's going to be down to 29 or we can get him down to 24. I think we hit him and we take eight damage. It's always nice, like, as the silent, the number one thing I look for, and it's not like I'm a pro or anything like that, but the number one thing I look for is definitely, like, is there a way for us to, uh, to get some healing? And honestly, Singing Bowl sort of is not like a... Oh, we're only going to be the 30s. That's actually completely fine. Uh, we're not gaining a lot out of it, but we can gain a little bit out of it. But I'm looking for more. Anchor's super nice. Starting with 10 block, I love it. Um, I gotta kind of remind myself of what this deck is like right now. I don't think we need any of this. Like, we're already not playing our existing outmaneuver. So let's just skip. We'll get a little HP out of it. We have no upcoming shop. Oh, it's got the timer up there now. Um, we've got no upcoming shop, but, uh... You do like the idea of getting a relic, right? Like, oh, dude, Bronze Scales is pretty good. It's like a permanent passive Caltrops. I'm not against it. This is all out attack. If you just draw all out attack on turn one, you're extremely happy. So let's do that. And then, uh, I mean, thanks to Gremlin Horn, we just got absolutely stacked. So this is like, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> that was amazing. Um... Again, it's not like I'm skipping these because of Singing Bowl. I'm skipping them because they don't provide any value. Purple Fire Spirits, huh? Receive a reward based on the offer. Dare I? Oh, dude, just purge the curse. That's fine. They give us the poop. Spirit poop. It's unpleasant. No big deal. We'll rest. We got our first boss fight. And we're looking pretty good. We got rid of our curse. We got a 15-card deck. Um, this guy's annoying. like to get an early Noxious Fumes if possible. Still could. Still could. So, start there. Hit him with the dagger throw. Um, we'll just dump a defend. We'll play an outmaneuver for next turn and hope that we draw some good stuff. I did think about offering something more, but 
Oh, dude, this guy gets, uh, I always forget, he gets pretty much hard countered by having any sort of, like, bronze scales, caltrops uh, situation going on. We got the ability to do this. We're gonna take 14 damage, but he's gonna take 12 as well, so... Actually, no, sorry, he's gonna take 18. I got the... Well, the numerator and the operator got a little mixed up. I'm gonna choose to take no damage, and, uh... You know what? Go for it. We don't want to play slowly, but it's not really a slow play. It, it doesn't really matter if he gets back around. Because I think we, like, we've not lost very much HP. And again, like Noxious Fumes, one Noxious Fumes does very little. <laughs> but it's enough, you know? If it does, it does like two damage and then four damage and then, you know, you can get to like 30 or 40 damage if the fight goes on long enough, so... Here, I think I'll uh, I'll choose to take two, just to hit him for six. You know, we gotta we gotta make decisions like that eventually. We gotta get the economy working in our favor. My math is all wrong about the noxious fumes, by the way. I'm I'm well aware. It's just nice. It's something to tip the balance. I mean, just having noxious fumes in your uh, in your deck and having played it early means that you could just defend. If you drew the right cards, you could just defend forever. Um, you know what, give me, I'll play an outmaneuver. It's like we got two energy from outmaneuver. We'll use one of that energy to play outmaneuver again. Um, sure. It's bad, because we're, I mean, we're going to have five energy next turn, and we're going to draw four cards, but... I think, uh, in the end, just, just hitting them is probably pretty valuable for us, is my guess. Uh, he is getting around here, and we're going to... We're gonna be at 29 HP, so we gotta be a little scared. His, I thought his weakness would uh, wear off, but... Honestly, if he's hitting me for 18... I'm more than content to do this. He's gonna take a decent amount of poison damage. And then he's gonna hit me like crazy, but he's gonna get hit in the process. So we only have to do 31 damage to him now. We're not far off. First floor is looking pretty stable right now, pretty good. And again, like at this point, uh, I might be playing a little conservatively for your taste, depending on uh, whether you're a, a Slay the Spire speedrunner slash thrill seeker, but I'm just coasting it into the finish line here, more or less, knowing that uh, we're guaranteed to make this work. What do we want to see in the future? Um, well, a, a card that gives us an archetype to strive for. Wow, we got a lot of gold there. I mean, like... I think we take Alchemize, even though we literally just skipped our potion. Um, I think Ectoplasm is okay. Lizard Tail is also fine, I think. And Ectoplasm makes gold bad, which means if we get curses, we can't remove anything from our deck. But four energy per turn is really nice. You know what? I actually, I think most of the time I'd go Ectoplasm. I'm going to go Lizard Tail, which is like, a lot of the time it's going to be worthless. But it's not real oh, champ. Who the heck is the champ? It's not because I overrate it. It's just because I love the idea of getting... Like, we have the golden relic, at least for now. So, why not reap the rewards of getting 30% extra gold and probably buying a few extra relics as a result, you know? Noxious Humes is strong here. Um, well, we can... One of you. So, only five damage is coming in, which is irrelevant. And then we'll hit you. And this is perfect because we wanted something like all-out attack. This guy's going to take 15 damage when he attacks me, which is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, so we can probably kill him even though he's flying. You're going to get stronger by one. That's essentially meaningless. And, uh... I mean, you're going to die if you hit us. So... I think I'm just going to play, like, Defend. Ah, oh, we should have played Dex Defend Alchemize, I think, but... Um, you're going to take 15 when you hit me. I mean, you're going to take 15 when you hit me, so I think I'm just going to, like, strike. Strike. You're not going to die. We're going to take a little damage in the process here, but... Yeah, I mean, we're down 10. It's not really a big deal. Uh, did we get, like, a... No, we did not get, like, a Gremlin Horn refund there. So, uh, get struck, and get struck, and get killed, and then we get Gremlin Horn, and, uh... 
I mean, there's no real reason. I like our potions. I mean, well, there is there is all reason if you thought you can get a better potion, but I don't know if we could. Out of all of these, I do like Cloak and Dagger. I do like Sucker Punch. I'll go Cloak and Dagger. I think our deck is a little bit more offensively minded. Offer 85 gold, receive a relic. What do you give me? Oh, Dead Branch, dude. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random colorless card to your hand, right? Add a random card, not colorless card. And uh, please, yes, I would love to. Thank you, sir. We will get jaxed as well. Um, I think I'm content to go this way. Rest and then fight the elite or uh, upgrade a card and then fight the elite. Let's choose a card to add to this deck. Terror is lovely. Footwork's lovely. We don't really... We still don't have an archetype, to be honest with you. Dagger spray is nice. Um... I think Terror is like really good. It also works with Exhaust. I'm not saying Footwork's bad, but I think in, in this deck right now, Terror is a, it's a really nice get for us. So we start with 10 block. Let's remember that. Important first turn. Uh, we will lose some HP to gain some strength. Phantasmal Killer on your next turn. Your attack damage is doubled. Um, okay. This might be a good turn to use an Energy Potion. I'm going to drink it right away. I'm going to double my damage on the next turn. I'm going to give myself a bunch of energy on the next turn. So I'm not going to play all-out attack. The reason I'm not going to play all-out attack... I mean, Alchemize is great. We'll probably get a chance to play it in the future. I want to whittle your arm down. Um, I'm not going to play all-out attack because we're going to have so much energy on the next turn. I'd like to draw. Or I'd like to have the, the maximum draw that I'm allowed, which is five for now. But um, we, can, we can get through it because check it out. Terror gets exhausted. Which gives us another card. Caltrops is... Act You're going to take six damage every time you hit me? You think that's worth it? And then we'll do something like that. And oh my god. He's in a real bad place. It's kind of like an unremarkable deck. But it's working. It gets harder as the game goes on. It does. Um, man, I hate that I cannot do any extra damage to you. That being said, I mean, you're going to get hit for six every time you hit me. So... It's pretty positive. We need to do 32 on this turn to kill you. I don't think we're going to get there. Just level with you. Probably start with something like that. 8, 8. I'm going to get there. I'm more than going to get there. Thank you. Because terror makes him vulnerable forever. That's right. Elixir kind of sucks. Dagger spray is well worth it. Caltrops, it's got good things going on. I wouldn't deny that. But, um, okay. So we haven't been adding many cards. After all these, terror for free... Gaining more strength out of Jax seems really good. Noxious Fumes working faster seems good. Let's go for Noxious Fumes being a little faster. On long fights, that's going to be very important. This guy, not a long fight, ideally. The longer this goes on, the worse off I am. Um, well, hit you with this. And I'll hit you with this. And I straight up think we discard this. Let's just drink it then, fine. We'll play Alchemize. We had a Strength Potion. Let me play it if there's no other cards in your hand. Uh, we, we don't need to drink anything on this turn. We're a little bit behind the curve. We didn't get the best draw. So certainly we want to play Terror. Uh, we get Piercing Whale. So good. I think I'm going to pop a Strength Potion just so I'm ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. We'll use Piercing Whale. Your Strength's going to be just terrible. Uh, burst, your next skill is played twice. We, could, we can get a block out of it, but I think we'd rather just not play it. We'll neutralize, obviously. And then we'll hit you with this, and, uh, sure. Doesn't matter. Very good. You're gonna take 9 damage for nothing, and you're made vulnerable forever. We were behind, um, because we were in a bind, and we were looking to make a deal, and it worked out. Uh, you're doing 15 damage. That's no joke. I think it's worth losing 3 HP to, to get the strength bonus. Eh, set up. Place a hit card from your hand on top of your draw pile. I mean, if we're going to cost 1 to play it, I'd rather just play Noxious Fumes. Which is still going to do more damage than Strike. Like, I think the fight's going to go on long enough that that'll work. And admittedly, actually, I didn't think about this, but we could do a Shiv deck now. It's not a strong synergy in my opinion yet, but... Um, now that we, like, it makes it so valuable. We should have played Burst on that in hindsight. But um, it makes it so valuable because every time we play uh, a Shiv, we're getting another card back. And then we could, you know, Well Laid Plans is 
a lovely card, and I mean, we could burst Alchemize. Like, we are going to take 24 damage in the process. That doesn't really seem smart. Maybe we should have just played Glass Knife, but I mean, I look at this and I go, okay, I can take one damage. And he'll take uh, 12. We can probably get him next turn. And our HP is fine. I hope we draw Burst. Ah, we're not going to draw Burst. <laughs> He's dealing 30. Oh my god. That's a ton. Um, that'll deal 15. You're not going to die. That's bad. You're going to hit me pretty hard then. Let's try Alchemize. Uh, that gave us accuracy. Shivs deal extra damage. Well. He's dead. But we're going to... Well, we're going to take 20, which is actually 13. And actually, we're only going to hit it twice. Yeah, we took one. Disregard. Thank you, uh, Bronze Scales. Uh, we start with extra decks, and you know what? We're going straight into Cloak and Dagger, because, again, we're getting so much draw. We might want to go, like, Shop Elite. That seems right to me. Um, we're getting so much draw. I'm a very happy man. Receive a Relic, but you might become Cursed. Fine by me. Whenever you enter a Rest Site, start the next combat with two energy. We're cooking. Sneko Skull. Whenever you apply Poison, apply one extra Poison. Our Light Synergy gets a little bit better. We didn't get the curse, right? Yeah. Um, our HP is very rarely going to be full. Discard and then draw, I really like. Um, but we're getting... I guess that's why my brain was like, do paper planes. Because you got paper cranes there. I mean, we are applying weakness quite a lot. But is it as good as like self-selecting a, a hand whenever you... I think we'd rather have Gambling Chip, but they're like both potentially really good. This is kind of the moment of truth, because our HP is a little lower. Um, I'm a little wary about fighting these guys, but let's see. Alright, so turn one, what do we want? Nobody's attacking, so we want to dump all defense-related cards. Yeah, Noxious Fumes has to be played. It just weakens these guys too easily. Jax has to be played. And we get Riddled with Holes. Deal five damage five times. Kills one of these guys, but it costs two. So do we really want to do it? I kind of feel like I'd rather Cloak and Dagger and then do something else. Like maybe get a potion, but six damage, six damage. Let's start with this. I'm hoping for zero energy cards. Deals 12 damage to all enemies. Draw one less next turn. Eh, I don't know if I buy it. Malaise. Um, it seems like the right thing to do to do that. Oh, I forgot we get extra energy back thanks to Gremlin Horn. That's right, so, um, now, yeah, you know what, lose one strength and exhaust a card, I'm okay with it, even though he's not attacking here, okay, let's try a calculated gamble, you know, we exhausted a card, then we can neutralize, not that you're gonna remain weak for very long, but, yeah, okay, you start, generally speaking, the longer your turn is, I think the better your deck is. The, the longer you're able to make a, a turn stretch, the, the happier you are. So, um, we're gonna take out this guy next. Remember, this guy's permanently lost one strength, which is awesome. Um, you are definitely getting terrorized. An exhaust a card gives us Dagger Spray, which seems like... Uh, I mean, Dagger Spray is just, like, literally better than all-out attack. Le dagger Spray with a strength bonus, at least. At least. Um, you're dead now thanks to the poison, and we can pass turn. I'm buying it. I'm buying into this deck. I understand it. Cloak and Dagger to begin with, not bad. I do hate that you've come back to life, but we are whittling this guy. Time after time, we're whittling him. Um, nobody's swinging, dude. So, we'll Dagger Spray, I think. Get a Gremlin Horn uh, Recharge. Get a Gremlin Horn Recharge. Smack it. Now you gotta look at this. You go 20, uh, 5 damage 5 times is actually 7 damage 5 times is 35 damage. Cloak and Dagger, you play it, you get, the block's irrelevant, but you get 2 shivs, the shivs are worth 16 each, but you also get the exhaust, so I think you'd start with one of these. Ah, yeah, 6 each, so it's not quite the same, but you also get the exhaust, which is really nice, so we can see what we get out of that. Um, I think we'd like Poison Stab. Because it applies one extra poison thanks to Sneko Skull. We'll try Cloak and Dagger again. It's like, it's free damage and also potentially card draw. So we get Escape Plan. Gave us free block that's irrelevant, but... Oh, Endless Agony. We'll play it. We get the card draw. Sure, we could save it for later, but... 
Um, this is working. It's working really well, actually. And Dead Branch plus Cloak and Dagger is doing doing wonders for us. And I think that's probably a card we're going to look for more in the future. Uh, let's start with a Dagger Throw. This poor guy, by the way... Uh, no, you should keep that. This poor guy tried to buff... Enemies that do not exist. If that's not the saddest story you can come up with in Slay the Spire, I don't know what to tell you. Whenever you play three attacks, gain four block. I love it. Um, gain block and draw is nice, but I, I still like crowd control. I think our crowd control is doing well for us, and all that attack is kind of bumming me out. So I'm fine with this. What do we want turn one? Uh, we don't need any blocks, so we can dump that. We can dump that. We, we probably want this. Alchemize, we don't need it. If it's going to cost us energy we might not have, I'm, I'd prefer to dump it. Okay, so actually, let's start like this. This is so good for the exhaust synergy. It also gave us some free block there. Um, I think I, well, let's, we should have done that earlier, obviously, but well laid plans. Whenever you get that for free, you're, you're a happy camper. You gotta be uh, inhibited here on your turn, or your next turn, your attack damage is doubled. Eh! To be honest with you, I still kinda like this. As much as it might seem like it's weak. When you turn a cloak and dagger into more cloaks and daggers, I'm a very happy man. So let's keep that up. The thing is, like, it looks bad because enemies are not hitting us. So I'm like, why am I putting up 28 defend? <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, one energy gets us uh, 12 damage. And then two extra cards added to our deck. So I think there's a, there's a certain bonus there. Um, we're going to do Die, Die, Die first. It has Exhaust Synergy, which is basically card draw. That gave us Die, Die, Die. So we'll get Gremlin Horn to pay us out on that one. Um, and then you, I could probably... I think I'm close to getting you. 16 damage with card draw and discard. I think I gotcha, actually. Where's my second ship? I've been betrayed. Um, whatever. Hit me for negative one damage and be destroyed. So far, so good, dude. Really, really easy combat. Good sustain. Keeping our HP strong. Please discard that. Take a block potion. I think you just add a cloak and dagger. I really do. Um, we got 66 gold. I think we will come here. You always rest first. Just so you know what your HP is going to look like. 66, we could probably feel okay taking that into our boss fight. We know we're not going to have combat here because we have the Juzu Bracelet. Um, receive a special relic, lose golden idol. The time's probably right for that. Whenever you gain gold, heal for five. Usually you gain gold after each combat, so that's pretty good. We're going to smith and, I mean... You kind of look at... I look at this, at least, and I go, Cloak and Dagger's got to be upgraded. It works so well for us. All right. Second floor boss, half an hour in. Pretty good. This is the champ. Okay, fair enough. Uh, he's hidden for 15, but we've already got five block. So we're going to discard all of our defense. Probably our basic strike as well. We have five energy because we were just at a rest area. So good. Okay, so you jax. You start with a Cloak and Dagger. That gives us more than enough block, but we're mostly we're trying to hit him with these, um, like so. And honestly, I think we'd like the energy refund for next turn, and uh, we'll follow that up with... Oh, what are you doing, man? You obviously want to hit him with that first. Um, we'll start off with another Cloak and Dagger, we'll go like that, and we'll go like that. And Expertise, draw cards until you have six in hand. That seems kind of bad right now. This dude is definitely, like, dead as heck, but I'm going to Noxious Fumes regardless. Anything that gives us just a little extra damage is fine by me. We're, now, we're actually... Remember, we took a, a boss relic on the last floor that does nothing for us. Ooh, bullet time. We, we shouldn't do bullet time until we play all our zero energy cards. And Masterful Stab we can actually work with now. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, so, die, die, die. Well, can we? No, we can't. <laughs> We should. I, there's nothing we could have done about it in hindsight. Oh no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, play survivor, and then dump expertise, and then these don't do exhaust. So gain some energy next turn. All out attack. It's okay damage, and then I'll hit you with this for 25. Um, yeah, but we we got a bad uh, situation with respect to our uh, 
boss relic on the last floor is not helping us at all until it saves our lives. But for now, it's doing nothing. So the fact that we're doing very well right now... Hey, Ruka. The fact that we're doing very well right now... Despite the fact that, like, I kind of... I wouldn't say that the deck sucks, but it, it's lacking a little... A little extra, you know, superpower. We don't have anything that gives us four energy per turn. Is is those are like the the ones I look for the most, I guess. But um, it doesn't really seem like necessary to play alchemize. If there's, n I mean, we might as well play expertise first, and then okay, I like this now. Give me some energy next turn. We'll draw a discard. Beautiful. Nothing wrong with this. So if we can get a, a good relic. That doesn't uh, mess us up too badly, i.e. Runic Dome. Uh, I'd be a happy man, I think. What do you got for me? Hmm, three damage, five times. It's not that good. We don't really need to play Terror. It's something. Like, <laughs> wouldn't say I'm thrilled with the result there, but it's something. He's just, he's, he's slow here. What do you, okay, you purged all your debuffs. Thank God we didn't play Terror again, or Vulnerable, or whatever the heck that card is called. You're gonna hit me for 57, that's a lot. Um, but it's, you know, you do something like that. You hit him good. You hit him good. You block. Throw this out here. We're gonna get an extra four block. We might get more than that. Eh? We can't draw anymore because of bullet time. They gave us the block anyway, though, which is weird. Um, well, I'm gonna hit for 57. You know what? Drink this. Hello, Ruka. Welcome. Hello, Slay the Spire. What would Slay the Spire be without a little appearance by my buddy Ruka, right? Well. I think he's going to hurt pretty bad. But I think we choke him and then cloak and dagger, which is some damage, and then shiv, which is some damage, and then shiv, which is some damage. We get a little extra block. We didn't get any extra. I was hoping to get something playable, but that's okay. We're going to take 10 damage here, but he's... I think we got him. Like, again, I think the deck is actually it's doing its job. So we got to kill him this turn. Probably. So we got to do like 31 damage. And we, we kind of don't have it right now, which is a real problem. Now I'm looking at it like 39. Can we get there? Take a dex potion. Gain 8 block. We can't play 3 attacks. If we draw, we can't play bullet time, which is scary. But I think we kind of... I think we kind of have to go for this. Like, if we hit you, for, it's going to hit you for 12... Let's say you're technically at 31. I can take you down to 19, and I can take you down to 11, but where do I get the extra damage? I can't. So I think even bullet time doesn't stop this. We expertise instead. And then a um, predator is not going to kill you. I think this is like an urgent situation. Drink that. 19. Take you down to 12, technically. It's not enough. We can alchemize... <laughs> Hope to get some... Okay, Alchemize into an Adrenaline. Into an Acrobatics. Dumping our Tactician. Now we have Cloak and Dagger, which will pop. 8 damage. 8 damage. Another Escape Plan. And then Glass Knife... Glass knife will kill you. Won't it? I'm like, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, we need to deal 15 damage, right? So, really, that was a much more dangerous situation than I'd expected. And look at that. We made it through. A little dicey. <laughs> Used literally all of our potions. But, uh, hmm. I like after image. You know, we, we don't necessarily have a combo focus deck yet, but... I don't like love any of these. I don't. I think it's too late for the bell. I don't know if we're gonna be able to remove the curses. 
Transform three cards and upgrade them. I mean, we could transform basic strikes, but like... Maybe we should, because like this is a potion, 30 gold, HP, and a card. Nah. Okay, so let's take Astrolabe and um, do like that. We got an all-out attack, a corpse explosion, and a cloak and dagger. Corpse explosion is not great in this situation, um, I think, but, you know. In the end, I, I think that that might have been the better option. All right. So to have survived that last uh, situation, I think, was extremely lucky. You're hitting me for 10, which means you're hitting me for 0. I don't really want to play an Alchemize on turn 1. I'd like to get ahead of this the situation as quickly as possible. So I think, certainly, I want to make you vulnerable here. I really, I just can't get away from the idea that, like, I really like this synergy right here. Like, even still, I don't even want to weaken you for one turn and deal seven damage, when instead I can get seven block, and I can do eight damage, and also, you know, get extra block out of it. And here's where, you know, you start to get this weird combo that kicks for whatever reason, and you play Adrenaline. Your hand's full, so you end up dumping something, but... I mean, what do you do after this? You could poison him, but I think we got him low enough already that you're like... You're feeling pretty good. <laughs> like we did a ton of damage to him there. Ruka. My Slay the Spire good luck charm. No offense, Ruka. Um, You're going to hit me for 13. So, I certainly want to start with a... Well, we should have started with an after image. Then we'll do something like that. Uh, we'll definitely dump that. And we'll do that. So, okay, we're taking no damage now. And you're taking three. So, this is perfect. Anytime you you know you look at this floor, the third floor, and you go, man, how am I able to kill these enemies this quickly? You're, you know you're in good hands. So Cloak and Dagger is perhaps deceptively the essential enabler of, of what's going on. I didn't mean to play that. I'm just going to level with you. Um, but you're dead anyway, so no big deal. I think I love Blade Dance. It's, it's like a, a more offensively minded Cloak and Dagger because it gives us three. Lose out maneuver, lose after image, lose all out attack. Take all out attack away. I actually do not like it. So see you later. Choose an upgrade of power. I think that's pretty good, but oh, you can't not. It's literally, it was meant to be. Apotheosis will be looking to upgrade that as soon as possible as well. Now the real question is, do we want to fight Elise? I think we want to go this way. Even though it puts us slightly further away from an elite, allows us to upgrade Apotheosis. Uh, sure, for zero gold, I'll make all enemies weak at the start of combat. Toolbox. At the start of each combat, add a random colorless card to your hand. Don't mind. If I do, give me a little smithing action. You got to Apotheosis is just the right choice. And we can, our deck is small enough, we got a pretty good chance to dry whenever we enter combat. So it's just two of the guys that we were facing before. It's not necessarily that bad. Um, dark Shackles. Enemy loses nine strength for the rest of the turn, plus an exhaust. I love the shiv. I don't think we need to block. But I, I will keep, um, I will keep a cloak and dagger. We draw four more cards. So I think we pop jacks. We have five energy, remember. Um, we've got bullet time, oh my lord. We have no draw, but I think you start like Apotheosis uh, later. Um, so you, lose nine strength so you're dealing zero, please. Thank you. We get an exhaust, tactician. If it's discarded, gain energy. We can make something happen there. So now, bullet time is cheap. And it actually is important that we... S actually, you know, we might like to... Do we want to save energy? Or do we want to spend energy? Like, we're going to get some energy back. I don't, I don't know if we gain anything or lose anything. I think I'm just going to play it. I'm just going to be smart and play it. And then we'll do that. And we should get rid of these as soon as possible. After image is really nice. We, we'd probably find it in our heart to, uh, to play that on this turn. If it's discarded, draw a card. I like it because these eventually work... Uh, they eventually work really well. Dude, this finisher... Oh, no. <laughs> this finisher is going to be disgusting. Well, you got to play Accuracy. And then watch this. So you play Concentrate, and you discard uh, Reflex and Tactician, and probably Calculated Gamble. Uh, you know what? You probably get rid of Tools of the Trade. 
because I don't think we're going to use it. So we just gained a bunch of energy back. Um, then we'll play After Image. We'll play Dagger Spray. We'll play All Out Attack. And then we'll do 64 damage to you. And then Gremlin Horn has worked out in our favor. We can't draw anymore. We'll dump this. We draw a card on Exhaust. We'll hit you. <laughs> what a what a strange deck. It's working, my dudes. It's work. This is an elite, by the way. Mmm, kill you with a neutralize. Sorry, can't. Um, slightly wrong on the numbers there. Um, okay. Uh, negate the next two curses you obtain. I think flying knee is okay to add. So, I mean, it's. We're not hitting any more elites. We, we don't really get to choose much in the way of our paths for the rest of this. Do we dare embrace madness? Yes, because we heal easily and uh, we get exhaust synergy out of madness. Gain 30 gold. That's, I mean, it helped me heal, which is nice, I suppose. You know what? No. Well, actually, yes. You guys are not thorns. You're just, uh, you're just regular old enemies. So again, Corpse Explosion I don't think is a good card, which is why we're dumping it on the regular. Um, I don't even think... Noxious Fumes, I think, is actually at the point where it's, like, too slow in this deck. We just don't need it. Um, okay, so... What, what seems like the obvious play to me... I'm just playing that to get a little... a feel for things, I guess. What seems like an obvious play for me is Cloak and Dagger, Cloak and Dagger, Cloak and Dagger. But you gotta slow down, because you get the exhaust uh, synergy to work with you. you. I mean... Infinite Blades is pretty tempting. So that's Gremlin Horn. Gave us Terror. Uh, because it exhausts, I think we're fine with that. We'll use Terror on you. And then we get Alchemize. We have two Alchemizers, but like... How many attacks? You played five attacks, so you would actually take 50 damage? 45 damage? Yeah, I like it. I like this, actually. It's really good. And it's not like, I mean, we're taking no damage on turn one, so it's beautiful. And uh, we're getting very slightly debuffed. Who cares? I think we can get both these guys next turn if, if, uh, if we get a decent draw. I think I just... Eh, 60, I think we'd go for you. Double an enemy's poison. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we've already got enough block, and there's Gremlin Horn, which drew a daze. It's not necessarily great, uh, as you might guess. Uh, since you're not hitting me at all, I don't care. Dump all this. What relic do we even get for this? Is it? I, I, I still haven't internalized whether or not it's like a scripted relic or what. This deck is feeling very comfortable right now. Ah, when viewing cards in your draw pile, they're now shown in order. I think we do like adding a Dagger Spray. This is a very fast third floor. R runs usually don't get stronger, uh, or they don't get faster as they go along. Obviously, you want them to get stronger as they go along. Um, okay, what do we not need? I think we, we definitely want to play Jax. Madness, like, we might as well keep it, because it pays for something, regardless. So let's play that. It gives us a free Blade Dance, which, which is just disgusting. Um, Invenom is very tempting, but it's too slow, I think. So we'll play Jax real quick. And, oh my god, that gave us Adrenaline, which is, like, super ideal. Storm of Steel. Discard your hand. Add one card. Or add one shield for each card. Discarded. I almost... Oh, you moron. Start doing some damage here. It was very uh, silly of me to approach this in this way, but... Um, What? You know what? Yeah, let, let's try this. This is going to seem silly, but think of all the exhaust synergies we're getting out of this. <laughs> it's kind of... It's really good for the future, is what I'm, I'm trying to get across here.
Gremlin Horn? I forgot about that. Um, so Madness will make something free. If it made Bullet Time free, that would have been hilarious. Instead, it made Cloak and Dagger free, which is kind of still funny, but... Just got an achievement of some variety. Uh, so we killed one enemy. That's actually, like, less than I would have expected. But it, the other enemies are just blocking, so, like, no big deal. 24 damage, okay. I mean, we might want to throw out a little Noxious Fumes on a turn like this. I don't really want to play this and deal 4 damage to each of them. I think I'll try something like this. We're going to take a hit, and that doesn't normally happen to us. We're going to get a hit for 9, I think. We really need, like, well, we don't need it, but the thing that gives us, like, the best chance in these fights... Oh, Apotheos is so good, but you might as well play this first. Let's actually go. I mean, you should We've already got one after image. We don't necessarily need to pay for another one. Um, this is where we start. We need shivs. Like, shivs are what enables this run. I think I still, like... It's not going to Gremlin Horn you, so I think we play that. This is what we're looking for, something like that. And hit you, and, uh, so, okay, not quite enough, but that's fine. We're taking no damage, obviously. I don't know, this run has been many things. It's been an offensively minded run, it's been a defensively minded run, it's been a poison run, it's been a, a shiv deck, it's been a combo deck. It's, it's been... Yeah, you name an archetype, it's been it, you know? Get rid of Survivor. I don't think we're going to need it. We're going to play Alchemize. Gives us an energy potion. Gives us something to discard. I like it. Uh, we'll play Bullet Time. Even though it doesn't give us draw. We'll hit him with a Dagger Spray. We'll hit him with a Dagger Spray. Let's pop one of these bad boys. And I'm thinking it's like a huh. And then uh, a little huh. And I can't play that. But uh, I can definitely kill you all. So, if that's things going badly, uh, I'm fairly unalarmed. We will... It's kind of tempting to rest, but for 7 HP, no it isn't. <laughs> uh, can we make... Oh, it's like... Only an innate after image is actually super nice. That's... I'm not really thinking about that as a necessity. It's more like, against bosses, we'd like to have that enabled as soon as possible, so... Yeah, to get after image for free in, in your hand is is so nice. So, definitely want... I mean, we want all of... In, in fact, I think we might literally... And we never do this. We might literally discard nothing. And I'll explain why. Uh, after image... Is already great. Make him vulnerable. Um, play Jax. You might as well play Madness. No. You don't need to play Madness yet. You do, even though he's vulnerable, you still want to make him more vulnerable. It's tempting, but not necessary. We're going to try this first. I know you're like, play Apotheosis. You're probably right, but I want to see what we get off of these first. So we get a Sucker Punch. And a Leg Sweep. Now I'll play Apotheosis. I thought maybe it would cheapen something. It made Madness free. Which then made a Sucker Punch free, so I like it. And we can Sucker Punch him again, which is actually pretty good, but I kind of like the idea. I, you give me the choice, I'm almost always going to try for the combo, even if the, the roll is not super likely, which is what happened there. But, I mean, we hit him for 50 and applied 3 weak and 101 vulnerable. He's hitting us for 3. We need to play 3 cards <laughs> in order to get ahead of him. I think that's going to be plausible. Because we have a, a turn uh, of, like, relative safety. Oh, I wasted an energy. Um, because we have a turn of relative safety, I'm going to play uh, Outmaneuver, which allows us to get six energy next turn. Then we love it, because you'll try something like this. And you want to get high energy cards. Exactly. Now that you get this, we're stoked, because uh, no matter what, we're happy with that. There you go. It worked out very well for us. So Crippling Poison, 3 Poison, 3 Weak. We love it. Flying Knee. We love it. 2 Weak. Why not? I'm not going to play All Out Attack. I think the, the card draw at this point is actually... It's enough of a concern that I'm... 
I'm going to stay away from it. He's dealing 21, which is kind of a surprise. It's quite a lot. Um, we only need four energy. So if we're going to use a potion, like... It should be a strength potion, which means we should have used it earlier, but still. Okay, we got, it's not great. Still good. Um, we'll play a Noxious Fumes. And a Noxuna Moon. And what you put that moon? Do that. Okay, we're gonna take six damage. Basically not bad. I'm a believer still in this deck, a hundred percent. Well, I mean blade dance, you love it, right? At this point, anytime you get like a zero energy card, you're a, you're a happy camper. We do have uh, we have two skills, so we can deal 16 damage for one energy, which is pretty good. I think we'll start though. I mean, you know me. I I just explained it. I love cloak and dagger. It's getting the job done with one energy left. I I mean, I could hit you pretty hard, but I kind of like hitting you with this instead, and then we'll pass turn. Choose two cards to retain. Um. I think a die, 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 and a flechettes is probably the, for the best, because we might be able to kill you. I think you're going to buff your strength. You're going to have 59, which is actually 47 HP. 48, sorry. So I'm thinking, I mean, you start with a dagger throw. You discard this, gain some energy, sucker punch, make him weak. You got to hit him with anything. Easy money. I don't, why we don't need it is the thing. We also gain HP by skipping it. So as long as you make it through this without screwing ourselves, I think we're okay. Because we're going to rest after this, obviously. Alright, what do we not need? Uh, they're hitting pretty hard. But I don't think we need a strike. I don't think we need an outmaneuver. We don't have anything to discard. Probably not going to play that. So this, these are the cards we want to play. Everything else is fine. Whatever we get, we'll see. Jack of all trades and a random colorless card. So Apotheosis, lovely. Too expensive right now. Remember, we have an Apotheosis Plus somewhere else in our deck. If I thought we could play Apotheosis and like get away with it, I'd be I'd be all over it, but remember, we don't really need the block this turn. So what do we want to do? I mean, if I could stop or at least slow down. Oh, I love it. Um, the Explodey Boys? It's more than uh, enough to make me happy. And then you go, okay, you know, 12 damage to all enemies. It's going to get you hit with thorns a little bit. Finisher? I, I, think you I think you roll the dice. I think you roll the dice. Our block's going to be more than enough, and it's going to reflect a lot of damage as well. So you get Escape Plan. I think you like that. You always draw a zero energy card. And that's our turn. It looks like a weak turn, but we took no damage. We gotta be very careful in the way that we fight, uh... In the way that we fight thorns and explosions. You definitely play Apotheosis. Like, that's essentially a no-brainer. Sure, escape plan. That worked out nicely. You're hitting me, so I'm gonna hit you back. Try something like this. Um, strikes nine. We'll start with the exhaust, because you never know. We might get one energy, a one energy card we want to play. It's not gonna kill you. Oh, uh, no, it's not gonna kill you. So yeah, Noxious Fumes, I think, is nice. So the poison damage does damage without it actually ticking. Um, without it uh, ticking thorns, for example, so... I think we're happy there. This guy's gonna do eight when he explodes, but we'll get a gremlin horn off of that. So it's it's a start. We also might want to kill this guy. But I mean, he's like the second. He's a second priority. So we took our exploding damage. Definitely play Jax. Sure. Now you play a free alchemize. Acrobatics draw and discard. Okay, 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 okay. Now things get a little touch and go. You start with a cloak and dagger, which is always nice because it allows you to like. Dude, this thorny boy is getting too strong. Quick slash. Da -da -da. 20 damage to all enemies. We, I think we take one damage by doing this, but it's, it's very nice. I mean, we get the gremlin horn payout as well. Maybe we didn't even take damage now that I look at it. Um, 
I'm gonna hit you. We're gonna take a little. Mm, do we have any blocks? We have no blocks. I'm gonna hit you. You're gonna die to poison on the next turn without hurting me. So you're uh, and you're done too. So yeah, we we just won. Okay, that's not bad. Definitely get rid of that. Take this. Uh, I mean, endless agony does fit with a uh, with a discard deck, and we're on the final boss. I'm dude. I'm feeling okay. Turn one is of the utmost importance. As many buffs and powers as we can get, please. Okay, we love a lot of this. Turn one, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. We got five energy, keep that in mind. You're, you're always gonna wanna play Madness. It hit Dagger Spray, gave you a well-laid plan, it's beautiful. You, you probably wanna play After Image first, and then Madness after that. Give us a free apotheosis. Wonderful news. Pop it. Beautiful. Um, so now, let's neutralize you, just so you're ready to be neutralized more in the future. And, uh, you know what? I think we'll actually... I think we'll do some potion action on this turn. So, for, first off, dagger spray is free. So that's very easy to pop. Um... We could get a free corpse explosion, but it's not really worth uh, anything. I think this is fine. It also gives us the exhaust energy. We're planning to pop the energy potion, to be honest with you. Don't really care about that. Let's try something like this. Get rid of that. Oh, dude, now we're talking. Here's 99 vulnerable on you. It's an exhaust, double an enemy's poison. It's trash. Uh, how many finishers we play? Four? I like this. Okay, so we'll drink this. Um, we're already... We're not energized? Okay, we're not energized. We're gonna dagger spray again. And I could either take extra energy next turn, or I could deal 40 damage, which would actually be 60 damage. I'm definitely going to hit you for 60, and then we'll pass turn. This is a really, 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 really good first turn, I think. One's half dead, all the debuffs are gone, except for, or all the artifact is gone, except for uh, one on the donut. So we're going to focus the, uh, the cube this time. I know it's not literally a cube, but you know, you get the idea. So we get a little exhaust synergy here to start. It's a cloak and dagger. Not a cloak and dagger plus, but a cloak and dagger. I can live with it. So we're going to smack you. We're going to smack you. We're going to smack you. I don't know if infinite blades is worth playing at this stage. Uh, unload's okay, but it'll do a cloak and dagger plus because we are still taking some damage. We're going to smack you. Oh, I love it. We're going to smack you. Blade dance. Tell you what, we're going to play blade dance. We're going to smack you. Following that, I think we're going to smack you. You gave us another defend. Look at that. Look at that. That's a great turn. We're going to end turn. Choose a card to retain. Cloak and Dagger for one, I don't think is that good. I'd rather have extra damage for the next turn so that I'm able to kill this guy like 100%. You might heal. Are you healing? Or are you buffing? You're buffing. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I think we've won, to be honest. I think we got ahead of the curve fast enough to not be uh, concerned. Let's play an Alchemize. It gives us a benefit right off the bat. I love it. Hit him. Get a little synergy. Deal six damage three times. It's a little expensive, to be honest. But it will give us a Gremlin Horn refund, so let's do that. Oh, dude. Uh, I shouldn't do it on you. Is there any other debuff I can apply? Not yet. Maybe in the future. Let's see if we can get a debuff here. Uh, and we might have to play something else first, like... <laughs> I think, like, I might have to... It, it takes us so much lower on energy, which I dislike, but I gotta, like... I'm pretty sure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're at 10 cards, so it won't work. I hate to do it, but, like... Sure, let's dump this. We don't, we don't need it. Alright. Outmaneuver is actually real. See, this is what I mean. Like, we can't stop making our hand full. I just want to debuff you. I mean, you're still hitting me, so let's not do that. And the amount of value we can derive from a single cloak and dagger is just disgusting. We're going to win. It's going to be two wins in a row, and, and actually both of them I feel pretty nice about. Like, the last one was obviously, as the Ironclad, it was just crazy fast. It was a lot of fun. Uh, this one is different. But no less, uh, 
I mean, I'm impressed with myself. You don't have to be impressed with me, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little impressed with myself. Because we, we didn't know how this deck was going to go until we got, uh, until we got, like, two-thirds of the way through it. So I'm hoping that this counts as a debuff. I, it was worth it to use it anyway, but now I see that he's, like, you know, he didn't really need that, but that's okay. Um, so we'll try prepared. We'll probably end up discarding like a leg sweep because it's just too expensive. You're hitting me for 26, which is no joke. So let's let's try this. And we're hoping to get some deflects and some... I mean, an endless agony is damage that also triggers this. And then that's an after image play. And all of a sudden you look at this and you go, hey, we're not in that bad of a spot. Keep Blade Dance and Alchemize. How many... Do we only get two. That's fine. <laughs> we don't really... Playing a potion here seems silly because we're so far ahead of the game, but... Alright, this guy... I mean, it's just a matter of time. He's done. Just, a uh, Basically, we might get him this turn if the cards from uh, our exhaust synergy are good enough. Looks unlikely. That's okay. Uh, it's starting to get close, aren't we? Yeah, it's actually gonna get him. Dude, that was a really fun run. That was just like textbook. Start to finish. Not a lot of combat. We hit a lot of question marks, so. Yeah, 592. It's not bad, but hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. All right.